hey, look at me. I am an animal. We are all animals, too. Now we want to show you all about animals and what all the animals do. Animals come in so many sizes and colors and shapes you can see. There are so many different animals living in harmony. Some live up, some live down, some use legs to get around. Some are wet, some are dry, living together side by side on land and sea and in the sky. Reptiles are very different animals. And it's not hard to tell reptiles apart from other animals, since they all have some of the same things in common. For example, all reptiles have skins that are tough and rather dry. Most are covered with scales. But some are covered with a hard shell. Most reptiles have short, stubby legs and toes that are clawed. But there are some reptiles that have no legs or feet at all. All reptiles have backbones inside them. Some of the backbones are very, very long. And all reptiles breathe through lungs. Reptiles are cold-blooded, too. This means the temperature of their bodies changes with the temperature of the air, water, or ground around them. That's why reptiles often lie in the hot sun to get warm. Animals such as snakes, alligators, and lizards are reptiles. Reptiles are animals you will always remember. Now what is covered from head to tail with skin that's dry and rough? Who has skin all covered with scales or a shell that's hard and tough? Who has legs that are very short or has no legs at all? has feet of a certain sort, or has no feet at all. You might find them on the ground, lying in the new day sun, getting heat from the air around, till the daylight's done. In the water, on the land, they all need air to breathe. Just like you, they have two lungs to get the air they need. They got scales. From head to tail, none of them have hair, as you can see. Reptiles, legs that crawl. Reptiles, or no legs at all. All of them breathe the air, like you and me. All of them breathe the air, like you and me. Some reptiles walk on the land by using their short, stubby legs. Reptiles that have no legs or feet slither about using their bodies. Some reptiles slither very slowly. Others are quite fast. Reptiles protect themselves in several ways. Some have great sharp teeth. Some reptiles have a hard shell that's impossible to bite. And some hide under the ground where their enemies can't find them. Most reptiles hatch from eggs. 
And when they're born, baby reptiles are on their own to live as best they can. But reptiles learn very quickly how to take care of themselves. Lots of reptiles have four legs they used to get around. Legs of the short and stubby sort that move them along the ground. Snakes are kinds of reptiles now that have no legs at all. They can slither through the grass or climb a forest tall. Reptiles come from eggs, and when they're born, they're left alone. No parent there to help them from their birth till they are grown. Even baby reptiles have to make it on their own. Find their food and shelter as they grow up on their own. Reptiles hatched from eggs. Reptiles with stubby legs. Some can move without those legs at all. Reptiles down below the ground. Reptiles are hanging upside down. Some just slither, others always crawl. Some just slither, others always crawl. Head to tail, with skin that's dry and rough. Who has skin that's covered with scales, or a shell that's hard and tough? Who has legs that are very short, or has no legs at all? Who are born from eggs, of course, you know just what they're called. Who are left to grow up on their own as best they can? Who breathes air with lungs, both on the water and on land? Who has blood that's warm or cold, depending on the air? Who sleeps through the winter cold without the slightest care? Reptiles hatched from eggs. Reptiles with stubby legs. And some can move without those legs at all. Reptiles below the ground. Reptiles are hanging upside down. Animals that slither and that crawl. They're a part of nature, one and all. They're a part of nature, one and all. 